Hi guys. As you can probably tell, I'm using a completely different camera because I've got the chair caught in something. Hang on. Well, that is what my digital one is looking like at the minute. It's um, dead. And if you're wondering why I keep looking to one side, it's because I'm using a TV as a monitor so I can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so I'm using my old Samson VHS camera at the moment to do this. Um, so I'm going to uh, later on bring the PC I need into here and set it up in here. I do need to get another one of these because I do sell bits and pieces on eBay here and there and uh, well I can't without a camera so I've got to replace this sooner rather than later um, I am watching quite a few on eBay various cameras all at um, reasonable prices for what they are so we'll just see um, Yeah, that really did tick me off. What actually broke on it is the um, charger socket in the bottom there. Somehow, and I've got a feeling it was probably me that did it accidentally, it's all got mushed and splattered in there, so... And now it just doesn't want to work, so it might have shored something out, so... Oh well. I'm sure I'll find something else on eBay at some point. Probably next Thursday. And I've got an itchy nose. So, I just decided to give this camera a whirl. It's on the tripod. Like I said, I've got it hooked up to one of my old CRT TVs. So I can uh, use the TV as a monitor. Anyway, aside from the camera crapping out on me, what else have I done? I've actually had a busy day today. It's currently Thursday. Is it the 8th or the 9th? 9th, I think, of February. Uh, got my friend Kat coming up tomorrow to pick that trike up and the scale electric, so I've got to get that out ready. Um, I've got three of these for sale on eBay. They are old chrome seat posts for old bikes. Possibly a shopper bike, actually, or... I might fit something else, but because I've got three, I set set it up as a buy it now, or best offer. Um, some very mild pitting on these, but they're not in bad condition, to be honest. Uh, and I set, because um, when you do a buy it now, you do get the option to change how many you have, so it's always set default as one, so I just changed that to three. And uh, I've just left it on like that, so I've got three of these to sell. Uh, but a good old tidy up in this lounge, especially in this area, and on my bench, which is to the uh, to your right, my left. Uh, I actually quite like this. I might do vlogs like this a bit more often, to be honest. It's just nice, you know, to sit back camera in front of me and just chat um, when I can think of things to chat about uh, oh yes there was a accident um, just outside the post office over there this time last night actually what's the time now yeah this time last night um, a cyclist got knocked off uh, I'm not sure what happened Apparently a car pulled out of the junction right in front of him and uh, knocked him off. Uh, the driver claimed the cyclist was in her blind spot. But, uh, I honestly just wanted to go, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. Don't believe it, kind of thing. I'm still a bit sceptical, to be honest. But I can't prove otherwise. And I think in the discussions on Facebook, I did get a bit frustrated. I don't know. I think just because I've had so many near misses myself, 
I do get a bit frustrated when things like that happen. But anyway, the cyclist, as far as I know, he suffered a broken pelvis. Um, other than that, he got off quite lightly. Uh, what else? Sold that purpley coloured ladies mountain bike the other day. Um, uh, you know, I've got an itch. Nothing like being a man and scratching your nuts. Um, well, I've got an itch, I've got to scratch it. <laughs> what else? Uh, what else have I done over the last couple of days? Not a great deal. A friend of mine bought his computer over because um, he'd seen a video on YouTube. I'm not sure if this is true or not. And I don't know if it's worked because I haven't seen him today. But apparently, if you run the memory check um, over and over and over and over, you can double the amount of RAM your system can use. Um, so if you've got like two gigabytes of memory on your computer and you've run this memory check at least 15 times, apparently you can double it, at least double it. And uh, we, we tried it on his, so <laughs> 12 hours later it only done 12 passes. So it was actually doing one pass an hour. So he shut it down and set it going again at his, but I don't know if it's actually worked. Well, that's why I haven't seen him. Um, but I don't know if it actually does work, you know, and it does actually, you know, unlock some actual physical memory the computer can use, or if it just, you know, increases the number on screen and doesn't actually do anything to increase the memory. If anyone knows, please let me know. It was worth an experiment anyway, either way. <sighs> right. <laughs> yeah. You may remember I had that red shopper bike over in the bedroom. Um, that damn thing trolled me good yesterday. I was so close to actually ripping it apart and scrapping it. <laughs> You know, I had the issue with the gear cable that I had to change the wheel and whatnot, which was easy enough. I sorted that fine. Well, yesterday I went to it because the handlebars were right forwards, so I thought I'd loosen the bolt and just um, tilt them backwards. No, the bolt sheared straight off. So, uh, obviously, I had to replace the handlebar stem. So, I released it because it's a quick release on that because uh, you can actually raise and lower the handlebars and whatnot. So, it's not a proper folding bike because it doesn't fold in the middle, but it's got that quick release mechanism so you can at least lower the handlebar and seat. Anyway, I got the handlebars to come up so far before they got stuck. And they're getting a bit tough to pull out. So I thought I'd just tap them the rest of the way out with a hammer. Well, that worked. For about three hits. Because uh, the actual bit on top of the stem that clamps down on the handlebars came clean off the post. So after that I was just basically left with a post in the bike like that. <laughs> and uh, I was sort of thinking, how the how am I supposed to get that out of there? In the end, I did get I got a pair of um, vice grips, clamped those on, and just basically worked it back and forwards while pulling up at the same time, and they popped out. And uh, the first stem I used didn't have a big enough diameter to go over the handlebar, but uh, it's all fixed now. I've got that working. It's actually uh, downstairs in the shed. Right. Can't think of anything else. 
Yes, I can. Um, just bear with me one second. I'll go and get it. Actually, I've got two, two of these to show you. Let me just go. There's one. Let me just go get the other. couple of these. He's uh, my little pony squishy pot. It's not going to roll very well on a cable, is it? I'm going to come a bit closer for this. That's the one. Now, I went into Sainsbury's the other day to get one of these. And land right in the top. One was open like that. Right? So I could see inside. And it was one that I actually wanted. It was flush eye. Because uh, they do 24 of these little figures. They do the sort of uh, transparent type ones and the solid colour ones. Um, and that was a non-transparent flush eye because I've already got the transparent one. But I didn't want to buy the already open one. So I just reached in and just grabbed the random one out of the box. Get it home. Coincidentally, <laughs> how about that for luck? I actually got what I wanted. Uh, I'm actually planning to try and get all 24 of these because there's 12 like these, the non transparent ones. There's Octavia. Oh, oh bloody nose. Yeah, there's 12 like that, and there's 12. Of exactly the same set of figures but transparent. So I think every time I can I'll um, get these. The only problem is with these if you go to the self-service desk at least the ones in my Sainsbury's don't recognize you've put these on the scales because they're so light. There's just no weight to them. So I've got five of these now of 24. <laughs> so that's what Another 19 to get. I suppose I should continue with a bit more cleaning up. Uh, I'm actually liking this setup. But it's not very mobile. I could, if I'm actually going to film myself doing something, I can set it up like this, like on the bench there, or on the tripod, pod, rather. And the camera does have a good battery, so I can use it that way as well. Uh, that's all, I've only been recording for 13 minutes. Uh, it does mean I'm going to have to do a, probably do a bit of cutting and chopping in Movie Maker. Which uh, you can actually do when I can remember how to do it. Because <laughs> um, it's not often I've had to do that, so. But yeah, it is possible. Maybe one day I'll invest in a proper program to uh, do some better editing. But for now, any editing will be done in Movie Maker. Because uh, I haven't got the funds. Not unless I can find a, a cracked version of something somewhere. Or perhaps, you know, a used one on eBay, I don't know. Right. I'm just trying to think. Before I turn this camera off, I want to th make sure I haven't forgotten anything. think of any stories to tell. That's how exciting this town is. <laughs> Apart from that accident that happened last night. There's the one that happened Sunday, early hours of Sunday morning. With the um, young lad sadly lost his life. He died later in hospital. Um, No, 
actually there weren't an itch, it was a tickle. Like a hair or something fell on my arm. Anyway. Mm. I've got the Saracen upstairs. The one that I swapped for my Alienware laptop. Um, no chain on it, no tube in the front tyre because I stole those for the bike I sold. Because the one I sold had a flat front tyre. I hate fixing punctures. I didn't have the time to fix it anyway, so I just threw in a new tube. And the chain I put on was a bit iffy, so I changed that as well. For a chain that I knew wasn't iffy. So, uh, yeah, that, I've got to find those for that. Not got any further with the other mountain bike that's in there. i just got to sort the rear gears out and put a chain on that. If I can find a chain, that is. Yeah. Like I said, all I've done. I've also had a bit of a clean up in the bedroom. Oh, and spiders, they really do my head in. I don't mind the harvest spiders, but they make cobwebs everywhere. I couldn't believe the amount of cobwebs up the wall that there was hidden around my bed. Because I've actually had the bed hooked out today and hoovered up around there because there was just cat hair and all sorts of dust and crap underneath that. But like I said, I did find the culprit and he went up the vacuum cleaner just because he was ticking me off. Keep making cobwebs like that. Right. I'm going to say that's it for now so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up let me know if this camera quality is any good keeping in mind it does use a tape and it's you know it's not on any digital format not yet anyway but that's why I want the other computer in here because I can transfer data from this to the PC it does mean I'm gonna have to play it for about 20 minutes because that's how long it's gonna take <laughs> Old school style, but in a sense it's fun, you know, to go back to the old ways. Anyway, I've got plenty of spare cables I can use as well sitting up here. I'm using one of these adapters at the minute though. That end goes into the camera and you can then just plug a standard RCA cable into these and then plug it into the TV. Although, the TV itself, um, only has two RCA ports. It's only got video and uh, the white audio jack. Don't know why. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. Many thanks in advance, and I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.